And I'm doing this work exactly because of what these uh, substances and the process of integration did for me. So um, I guess I'll start with saying that in my late teens, through my late twenties, I used psychedelics along with a lot of other things, <laughs> including just about every drug you could try and alcohol and everything else. And unfortunately, around my mid twenties for a couple of years, I got into hard drugs and my life spiraled out of control. I ended up in a really bad place, living in like a really bad neighborhood. I don't know what happened to my car. I remember I had a car at one point and then I didn't. I mean, I was an addict and I was in really bad shape. I managed to uh, have someone pull me out of that physical environment. Um, what I did was move away from the people I'd been around for many years and just kind of cold turkey, stop using all substances, except for cannabis, which I abused for about 20 years. So fast forward to about nine years ago, and I was faced with a tragedy in my life. I was in the middle of a grief process and realized that I had a ton of childhood trauma that had not been acknowledged, much less addressed, and I was in trouble. So I started working with a therapist. I started working with a coach. At the time, I was smoking cigarettes, and I told my coach I was trying to quit, and he said, oh, I heard there's some study that says psilocybin helps with that. I thought, oh, I know about mushrooms. I found some mushrooms and I took them. And there is a big difference when your intention goes from taking substances to have fun to going inward, because as soon as you make that decision to look at yourself, that's all the substances will do. So the mushrooms kicked my ass and they showed me everything I had done in my life, my part in it, but other people had done the patterns I had, why I was acting the way I was and why I was stuck where I was. And when I got done, I thought, well, now that I've seen that, everything's going to change. And in about two or three weeks, everything was the same. Rinse, repeat, tried that a couple of times. And I didn't understand why these epiphanies and these uh, sudden realizations and these new connections I was making weren't taking, you know, they weren't doing anything for me once the substance is worn off. So I started investigating and found out there was this thing called integration, which I had never heard of. I started studying that and I started attending integration circles. That's how I came to lead them. I was there so much, they finally said, look, why don't you lead these things? <laughs> I was a regular. But um, I studied different modes of integration, the different modalities people use and different techniques. And I developed some of my own that worked more for me. They're really about taking advantage of the neuroplasticity that occurs in the aftermath of an experience and then using different techniques to make some change or shift in your life in that state to make those new connections a little bit easier about making some changes that make the information you got from, this, from the session stick with you. And I was leading integration circles. I was doing some counseling with people. And after a while, it just made sense. It seems like I understand these substances and how they work and their intersection with personal psychology. I went and I got an integration uh, uh, certificate. I did a lot of studying. I developed some tools myself. I started seeing clients about four years ago, and I've been doing this full time for about two and a half years now. You know, I had a successful IT staffing business. I gave that up because this work kept showing up. And for a while, I was like, hey, I'm, I'm busy with my business. And finally, I'm like, oh, yeah, I get it. OK, sorry. And this became my business. But I'm doing this because this changed my life. You know, I'm a completely different person than I was 10 years ago. And thanks to the transformational power of psychedelics and the integration that can happen in the aftermath and a lot of counseling and therapy actually.